Hi everyone! So today I want to get you interested into perhaps making this baby jacket with me. I call it the bomber jacket, as you can see here. It is not very difficult to make. Uh, it is the most of the jacket is a two row repeat, uh, double crochet row and the bead stitch row. And the bottom edging and the collar is a moss stitch. So that's how it looks. It has a nice little detail on the end of the sleeve, but perhaps this part with the button is the most difficult part of the whole cardigan. It's just for me, uh, just stitches right here. So I'm, hopefully I'm gonna do a good job explaining all that. Other than that, this is the small size. So this one is up to three months old and I got away with a 100 gram skein to make this jacket. Now the bigger ones need more of course, but this one was exactly, I pretty much had, I don't know, perhaps 50 centimeters left uh, from the whole skein. Okay, so the next one I have it in color, like this, blues and a little bit of browns. It looks, the stitch looks really nice, you can see right here in color as well. This is for a one-year-old and I think I used up about 120, 130 grams of yarn. And this one, this I think this one is my favorite, perhaps because it is in a dark color and it really looks like a proper uh, jacket. I used up about 150, 160 grams for this and this is the biggest one I have made. I have not made it in any bigger sizes. Uh, but I cannot see why it could not be done like that. So I normally have three buttons right here. Uh, perhaps you could do more if you like from the sort of a v-neck going down. But for this one, I have put in an extra one. You can do it exactly the same if you want to close it all the way up like that. So hopefully I got you interested and we can go on and see what we are going to need. So these are some of the things that we are going to need. I'm gonna need some buttons. I have six. I have not decided if I want to use uh, five or six. I will see how it goes. So two will go for the sleeves and then I'm definitely gonna have three for the bottom and perhaps I will do one uh, high up so I can close it all the way. Uh, then we're gonna need uh, a needle for the tail ends, a few stitch markers, uh, at least four. Uh, and a measuring tape. This is very important. Without this, we are not going to be able to make this cardigan. Okay, so these are nothing special. Next is the yarn. So I am going to use bonus DK. This is a DK or double knit uh, weight, lightweight free yarn. This is my favorite weight. Uh, I like that the cardigans look nice in it. So this is 100% acrylic, 100 gram ball, and I, it's about 280 meters in it. Now I'm going to need two of these. Uh, I will not use both of them, but I will need a little bit from the other uh, ball as well. And this yarn asks for a four millimeter hook. This is what I have, four millimeter hook. So you don't have to use this exact um, yarn, Anything lightweight free, a little bit thinner, a little tiny, a little bit thicker will be just fine. Uh, yarn weight is not, does not make a very, very big difference. Okay, so uh, then one more thing that we're going to need is measurements as we are going to make different sizes. So this is 18 to 24 months is the biggest one that I have made. That's the blue one that you have seen in the beginning. I have not made them bigger, but if I was asked to make, I would just do everything exactly the same. Just take the bigger measurements for it. Okay, so uh, we are gonna need head circumference. We are going to need chest for the finished cardigan. We're gonna need yoke. We are going to need sleeve length and we're just gonna need upper sleeve just to make sure uh, that we do need to do a little bit of decreasing for the sleep. Okay, so ages and measurements. And these are all in centimeters uh, just because I'm used to them. If you are not happy with this chart and uh, you are, you're really not comfortable with centimeters, I'm quite sure you can find it in inches on Pinterest or Google. Um, 
just you just need to look for it okay uh, so we have this I think I have said everything so we can get started on it okay so the beginning to this uh, jacket is exactly the same as I always start well most of the time anyway so you'll find the head circumference for the size that you are making I will be making a six to nine months so I have 43 centimeters. If you're making bigger, you're going to have a bigger measurement. It does not matter. Just find the one that you are making. So I have 43 centimeters. I'm going to write that down. 43 centimeters. And whatever measurement we have, we minus 3 centimeters from that. And I end up with 40 centimeters for my starting chain. Now this is going to be about 40 centimeters. We are just going to need to find the uh, correct uh, amount of chains for that length of starting chain. I hopefully I'm not confusing you now. So this is where this comes in. So this is my uh, starting chain chart or the yoke chart and you see the big numbers in the middle. This is the amount of chains for the starting so i will be making let's say 48 chains and i will measure that if i am getting my 40 centimeters in length if i'm not i'm gonna go for the bigger one until i find the one that is closest to that length okay so remember that number grab your yarn and we will start with a slip knot like this Okay, so have a look at these if you need. And we are going to start chaining. So um, as we do not know which of these will be the closest to our needed length, I'm just going to make, let's say, 48 chains and I'm going to measure that. So put your hook in and start chaining. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to keep going until I have 48 chains. I have 48 chains at the moment and I'm going to measure it if it is close to my 40 centimeters that I need. Okay, so I'm going to place my measuring tape at the very first chain and I'm just going to give it a tiny little pull, not too much. So I'm about 30 centimeters in length. I need another 10 so I'm going to try uh, and do another few lengths. So I'm at 48. I'm going to try 52 and measure, 62 and measure, and I will see uh, which one of these is closest to my 40 centimeters. I am at 66 chains, and I'm going to measure that, just like I did before. Put it to the first chain, and give it a tiny little pull. And I am at about 39 to 40 centimeters with 66 chains. This is close enough. I'm not be, I will not be able to get any closer. So I am happy to do my uh, yoke with starting chain of 66 chains. Okay, so once we figure out uh, which one of these fits us the best to our size and yarn, uh, we are going to start row first. Now... Whatever number you have on your um, starting chain, we're going to add one more chain. One. Now, we're going to skip the first two chains, so the loop on the hook doesn't count it as anything. Chain one, chain two, into chain number three. We're going to make a double crochet. Like this. So the first two chains we count as one double crochet and I just made a second one. And I should have eight double crochets before the first corner. Okay, so two into the next chain, three, four, five, six, seven. eight yes sorry eight <laughs> i got a little bit excited there so i have eight double crochets after that i have one corner so 
all of our corners are going to, to look exactly the same. So we're going to yarn over, put our hook into the next chain and make a double crochet. Then we make two chains, chain one and chain two. Yarn over and put a double crochet back into exact same chain where the previous double crochet is. Like this. After my corner, I have 13 double crochets. This is the shoulder part. And I'm gonna start counting now. So one, two, three, four, and I will keep going until I have 13. Done with that, I have my second corner. And I'm gonna make into the next chain, I make a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet back into the same chain, like that. Then it is the back part, the back of the neck. So I have 20 double crochets. I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna do 20, so I have two, three, and I will keep going. I think this is clear enough how to follow this chart. So after 20, uh, we gonna I'm gonna have my third corner now remember if you're making a different size you might have different numbers but the corners are exactly the same so 20 corner 13 over the shoulder corner and the front of the cardigan so I'm going to meet you right here and I'm gonna do the last uh, corner and the last eight stitches together with you other than that you just follow the chart okay so I'm at my last corner just the very last bit of it okay so I have my corner double crochet chain two and double crochet now if I have not made any mistakes uh, when making the chain if I counted it well I should have eight double crochets left or eight chains for those eight double crochets so starting in the next chain I count one two three four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is row one done. So th there are going to be two row repeat and one of them is going to be a simple, simple double crochet row. Okay, we do not need the chart anymore. We have all our stitches placed in the correct ways and now we're gonna start with uh, row two with the beads every row is going to start exactly the same throughout the cardigan throughout the the, the main part of it so we're gonna chain one we're gonna turn around and we're gonna make a double crochet back into that very first stitch over you see right here into that very first one Okay, so, and now we are going to make our first bead. Yarn over and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Uh, remember, every time we start uh, making beads somewhere, because we're gonna make them here in both fronts and, that, and back, the shoulders are not gonna have beads in them, we do not skip a stitch, right? So we have a double crochet and we go straight into the, the next one. This is just the start of it. Then we're gonna yarn over, go behind or in between those two stitches, those two double crochets, gonna go in between them, catch the yarn in the other side and pull it out nicely like this. I have three loops, gonna yarn over, go in there, in between them again, catch the yarn, pull it out. That's, I have yarned it two times and I'm gonna yarn the th over the third time and I'm gonna go back in there again, catch the yarn and pull it out. Now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. We catch the yarn and pull out through six of them, like this, and come out before the very last one. So this is our bead and we yarn over and pull through the last two loops on our hook. So this is my first bead. Then I'm gonna skip a stitch, go into the next one and make a double crochet and a bead again. Yarn over, go behind the stitch, 
behind the double crochet, pull it out one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull until you get to the very last one and come out. Pull, uh, skip one, make a double crochet, yarn over once, yarn over twice, and yarn over for the third time and come out before the very last one before the last loop yarn over and pull through both loops and you see skip one and make a double crochet yarn over once yarn over twice yarn over third time pull out until we get to the last one pull out just like that so this is our beads so next so when you get to the corner you should always have you see one stitch left that's because we are skipping a stitch after every bead so we skip that we go straight into the corner make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet back into the same space Next, this is the shoulder part. It does not have beads uh, in this pattern. So we're just going to make double crochets into each of the stitches. Just one into each until you get to the next corner. Now, have a good look like this. And you see, I made a double crochet into the previous double crochet. And I have my corner right here gonna make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet back into the same corner like that okay and then back back is the same as we did in the front we have beads so we are not skipping anything straight after we make the corner into the next stitch we make a double crochet and we start our bead I yarn over once yarn over twice yarn over three times pull it out, leave the two loops on my hook, pull, skip one, double crochet, and I continue making beads all the way until I get to the next corner, until I finish my back. like that and we keep going this part is done and when we are finishing with our beads we should always have to skip one stitch we should have one uh, stitch to skip at the end and we go straight into the corner and make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet then it is over the shoulder we do not make any beads right here just double crochets I am just about to start my last corner make a double crochet here and then corner and the front part which has beads as well so I'm gonna start I'm not gonna skip anything straight into the next stitch double crochet and bead skip one and skip one make a last bead and like i said once we finish with our beads we should always have one stitch to skip so in the front we skip that and we have two chains from the previous row that we have counted as double crochet so we make our last double crochet into the top of that chain two 
And this is how our first two rows look like. So from now on, it is a repeat. So we have a double crochet row, which is very simple. We're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna put a double crochet back into that very, very first stitch. And then we're gonna look for the stitches from the beads. So over each bead, you can see one, two stitches. This is a bead and one, two, one, two. So this is what we're gonna follow. It is very easy. You should not miss any of them. Otherwise, um, the next row with the beads is not gonna come out correctly. So counting is, is not necessary. You just need to follow your stitches. You see one, you make a double crochet in it. And double crochet from my corner from the previous row, I make last double crochet in it, like this, and corner. And again, simple double crochets over the shoulder or the sleeve. This is, go this is going to come out as our sleeve. And we just keep going. Okay, so, oops. So these are just uh, simple double crochets. Like I said, follow the stitches. So you see a stitch, make a double crochet. Corner, and then again, you will see your stitches. So I'm going to meet you at the end of row three and we will see uh, just the beginning and the end, uh, just a little bit of the bead uh, stitch row. I am coming to the end of row three and I have one more stitch left right here. It's kind of a small, do not worry about that. And I'm going to chain one and turn around. We're gonna start the bead row again. I'm only going to show a tiny little bit because it's very easy. You just need to remember certain things and you will be fine. Okay, so make a double crochet back into the same stitch. Now, like I have said before, this is just something to remember. The bead stitches always start with the next stitch. So I'm gonna make a double crochet and I'm gonna make a bead stitch. Wherever you are, on the front or on the back, it does not matter, it always starts with, with you don't skip a, a stitch before that. So I'm nearing to the end. And I have my last bead before the corner. See, three stitches, one, two, three, skip one. Make your bead. And you will always get to skip one stitch at the end wherever you are. I'm going straight into the corner. Chain two. And then I will keep going with double crochets. So this is all there is to this pattern. I'm, um, I'm thinking I'll probably meet you at the end of this row, uh, just to make sure that you can see uh, how it ends. But other than that, it is really, really, really simple. So we just keep going and follow the pattern. And the row uh, four at the end looks exactly the same as any other row with the beads. After the last bead, we get to skip a stitch and make a double crochet into the very last stitch. Chain one. And next is a double crochet row, double crochet back into the same uh, stitch and make double crochets in every stitch. So it is really quite easy. You just uh, need to pay attention, I suppose. 
And from now on, it is repeat, repeat, repeat until our top part of the cardigan, the yoke, is going to be big enough and long enough and wide enough for us to join it. Uh, I will make the yoke and I'll come back. It will be easier for me to show what and where and how to measure um, so we know that it will fit. So for now, we just keep going with these two rows. Okay, so I have my yoke done, as you can see right here, uh, and now we are going to measure. So the first measurement that really matters is the yoke measurement. So this is that yoke, and you find your age and the yoke height. Like I have 11.5 centimeters. You might have more for bigger sizes or less for smaller sizes. So 11.5, I have that in mind. I remember that. And I'm going to get my measuring tape and I'm going to measure. So I have already started the next row, the row that is going to connect. This is just something uh, for you uh, just to see how that works. Okay, so what we measure, we measure this corners. These corners, you see, put your measuring tape at the top of it and measure all the way down through this. As you can see, I'm about 10, 10 and a little bit centimeters long right here. So from the top, perhaps 10 and a half. I need 11 and a half, but this is okay because the next row that we are going to connect this double crochet row is going to add me the same length, uh, the same, um, length as double crochet so I'm gonna get an extra one and a half centimeters uh, right here so I am going to reach my measurement we really do need to uh, to meet that uh, just so it will be easier to put it on uh, I hope you understand what I'm talking about so if you measure place that nicely like this so I have about 10 10 and a little bit have in mind that you're gonna have an extra double crochet here and you will meet that measurement Okay, so it, uh, then we are going to measure if we need to put any chains in under the armholes, okay? So this is the back. We're going to measure this. But first of all, we need to see uh, what we are looking for. So we look for the chest actual measurement for the size that we're making. I am making six to nine months. Finished size is 50 centimeters for me. You're gonna have more for bigger, less for smaller sizes, 50. Now, as I am measuring only a half of the cardigan, the back half, I need a half of my measurement. So I'm looking for 25 centimeters. I just uh, divide my full finished length into two. So I have 25 centimeters and now I am going to measure. We measure from one corner to the other and I have about um, 23 23 and a little bit I'll just say it's 23 centimeters and I need 25 so I'm two centimeters short for each underarm then I'm gonna place my measuring tape at the double crochet row and I will see those two centimeters how many stitches fit in that so if you can see here Centimeter one, centimeter two, and one, two, and three stitches fit for me into two centimeters. That means I'm going to have three chains under one underarm and three chains under the other one. Now you might have more or less depending on your hand and yarn and everything else. The only thing that I want um, perhaps to to say is that it if you can make it an odd number for the Chain. It will be a little bit easier for us uh, when doing the uh, sleeves. So, if anything, maybe perhaps go one extra stitch uh, or one extra chain just to have it an odd number under here. Okay, so it does not matter at this point uh, which uh, row you are on. Uh, I have finished my yoke on the bead stitch and I'm co gonna connect it with a double crochet row. If you're on uh, bead stitches now, do not worry, just make your bead stitches until you get to the corner. And in the first corner, you see I have made double crochets as I normally make in every stitch. 
I got to the corner. If you make a bead stitch, you're going to have uh, a bead right here and you're going to skip that. Okay, so a double crochet goes right into that corner right here. And then we're going to chain whatever we had. So I had three chains. Chain one, two, and three. I'm going to find the corner near the back and I'm going to put a double crochet in there. So as you can see, this is our armhole. And then whichever row you're on, you just keep going with the pattern that uh, we have done before, exactly the same. So I have just double crochet, so I will keep doing that. Okay, so I will meet you at the other underarm. I am at the other underarm and I'm going to do exactly the same thing into the corner. I make a double crochet and I'm going to do my chains one, two and three. Find the next corner and make a double crochet and then keep going with the pattern whatever you are doing. Okay, so at this point we have connected our yoke. If you need, uh, you can uh, measure the yoke height again just to see if you have uh, really met the measurement. So from top down, I have about 12 centimeters, which is just fine. Uh, I'd rather have more than less. Uh, most of the time it is hard to get the exact measurement for, for, for the yoke height, as we are making it in long stitches, like double crochets. So uh, from now on, we are gonna keep going. I'm gonna come back. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the end of this row, turn around, just follow the pattern, whichever row you're on, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm gonna meet you right here, so I will be with, on a bead row, uh, and we will see what to do with these chains down here. Okay, so I made my way to the chains with the beads. I'm just following whatever the pattern was telling me to do, exactly the same as we did right here. It is only going to be a long piece instead of short piece. We're just gonna do exactly the same with both ro rows. Okay, so when we get to the chain, we just follow the pattern. Imagine that these chains are just normal stitches. If you are doing double crochets, uh, each chain gets a double crochet. If you are making beads, uh, you just get to skip one and go into a chain and make a bead. Skip one and a bead. Okay, so this is really quite simple right now. Uh, we just need to add the length to the cardigan. The only thing is uh, how long to make it. Um, so, you can make it longer or shorter uh, if you like, if you have made something before. I normally uh, look up my sleeve length for the side that I'm making. So it's 17.5 centimeters. So sleeves will be from here, we will be measuring the sleeve for 17 and a half for me personally it is for that size so what I want to do I want the cardigan to be um, the same length as the sleeves or a little bit shorter because it is a jacket I don't want to make it long so I'm gonna go for about uh, perhaps 17 uh, centimeters plus I have in mind that I am going to have a little um, edging on the bottom right here so this is the moss stitch and I am planning to do about four or five rows so I'm gonna measure the one that I have already made so it's about uh, four rows is about two and a half centimeters so I am going to leave I'm going to stop making the cardigan when I'm, uh, I'm about two and a half to three 
centimeters away from being finished with the full length. So as I'm planning to do about uh, 17 in total, in total from this point, I'm going to stop at about 14, 14 and a half, and I will do the bottom part. So I suggest you do the same, and I will meet you once we have this made. Okay, so I have almost all length, and as I said, as I wanted, I have about 14 centimeters in length now. And I want it to be about 16 and a half to 17 centimeters in total length. So this is how much edge I'm going to put on the bottom. Okay, so the bottom is very easy. We're going to do a moss stitch. Wherever, whichever uh, row you have ended up on, it's, it does not matter. Okay, so we are going to start with chain one and we're going to turn. We are going to put a single crochet back into the same stitch and we're going to chain one. I'm going to skip one stitch, make a single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain, skip, single, chain, skip, single, chain, skip. And that is all there is to this uh, row. We, are, we just need to get to the end and we will see what we're going to do in the row number two. Okay, so at the end of this row, we should end up, so I have a single crochet and chain one and I have three stitches left. So I'm going to skip one, make a single crochet and I still have one stitch left. I'm going to put a second single crochet so we have two single crochets at the end of this row and we will have them uh, for making the bottom of the cardigan we will always have two double crochets there okay so every row is going to start the same now so we're going to chain one we're going to turn around we're going to make a single crochet back into the same space we're going to chain one so this is a double crochet i'm going to skip over that and find the little a chain space from the previous row and I'm gonna put a single crochet in there I'm gonna chain one and again I'm gonna skip that single crochet find the space and make a single crochet chain one skip chain one And we keep doing it uh, till the very end and for the next uh, however many rows you still need to do for uh, to, to finish the full length of your cardigan. Uh, I will probably do four or five. I am on row number two so I have showed you uh, how they start and how they end. You should always end up with two single crochets in the row and start with a single crochet and chain one. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you once we have uh, the bottom edge finished. I have finished four rows of the moss stitch. It looks like that. It's not too long, I like that. And as you can, if you can, uh, as you can see, it's sort of a, it's taken in a little bit the cardigan at the bottom, which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so, um, once you have the length that you wanted, you might have more rows than me, you might have less, uh, depending on what you like. Uh, so I have four. Uh, we are going to cut our yarn. So chain one and cut your yarn. Leave a little tail and pull out the hook. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to decide which side you want to be on the outside. So the, both sides look a little bit different. You can see here uh, in on the inside. I'm going to keep this as an inside. Um, well, they, they do look a little bit different. There's a little difference. So whichever side you like, uh, now is the time to decide. So I'm keeping uh, my one with double crochet rows. Uh, facing the wrong way up. As you can see, they look really sort of a curly 
on the inside, they are much more straight. So it doesn't really make any difference. It's just one of those times when we need to decide something. Okay, I'm keeping this. Then, now we need to do a decreasing for the neckline uh, to make sure that our collar will be close enough to the neck or much closer than it is now. As you can see, this is really wide. If you don't want to do the collar and you want just a simple cardigan, what I suggest you do is make a few rows of um, perhaps single crochets, perhaps uh, a few rows of the moss stitch uh, instead of a collar, uh, because at this point, this is way too wide. You just need to take it in. Uh, if you're doing the moss stitch, uh, you don't have uh, to do any decreasing, uh, that stitch naturally takes everything in. Uh, I think uh, two or three rows will do it. Um, if it's single crochet rows, you need to be uh, to do a few decreases perhaps in the corners. Um, as I'm not going to show you, uh, uh, show you that, I will leave you to it. Sorry. Okay, so uh, we are getting ready to do the color, so... Uh, under your left hand on that side find the very very corner right here you can see it has just a tiny it's just a little bit bigger than any other um, leftover chains I'm gonna make a slip knot okay so this is the very corner the leftover uh, chains from the corner this is one before and two before the corner. This is the second one before the corner. I'm gonna put my hook in there and I'm gonna connect myself like this. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna skip everything and the corner that stitch before the corner, the corner stitch, and I'm gonna put a double crochet right here into the first stitch after the corner. And I'm gonna keep making double crochets until I get uh, to the back part, um, to be more precise, two stitches before the corner, right before this one. So I'm gonna count one, two before, and all of this I'm gonna do double crochets. Okay, so look carefully. This is the back part, my corners and the stitch that they are in and one and two stitches before. Now I am going to crochet together four double crochets. So one, two, I'm going to leave the corner alone, three and four, the two stitches after the corner and the two stitches before it. I'm going to crochet them all together. Yarn over, uh, put your hook in the first stitch, pull the hook out, uh, sorry, the loop out and pull through two loops. Done. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, put your hook in, catch the yarn, pull it out, four loops, yarn over and pull through two. I have three loops left. I'm gonna skip over the very corner stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, go straight into the next one, pull out, yarn over, pull through two loops. You should have four. And one more time, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, I have five loops, yarn over and pull through all of them. I have closed in that corner. Now, uh, just simple double crochets until I get to the next side, to the other side or the corner. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. So I need to stop two stitches before that. Again, I have stopped. so. This is my corner stitch, one, two stitches before and two stitches after. Crochet them together. Yarn over, next one, skip over, five loops and I'm going to pull through all of them. And then again, I'm going to do double crochets. There's only a few, so I'm not going to uh, turn myself off. So we're nearly finished. Uh, we will be able to start the collar right away. Uh, 
Okay, so we need to stop again. You see, I have one more stitch before the corner. This is a corner stitch and that right here. I'm gonna make my double crochet into the last one. I am not touching the corner and I'm gonna look for the second stitch after the corner. So the corner, stitch one and stitch two. This is where I'm going to connect just with a slip stitch like this. I'm gonna chain one so it doesn't run away and if we look right now our uh, neckline looks much much smaller and we are going to proceed and make the color right now. So grab uh, yourself two stitch markers and we are gonna get started. Okay, so the first row is very very simple. We are doing the moss stitch. We have done that before. So make a single crochet. So I have chained one. Make a single crochet back into the same stitch. And I'm gonna chain one, skip one, single. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet. Chain one, skip one. You know all that. Okay, so this is where we are going to need our stitch markers. Once we get to the corner, right here. I'm gonna chain one, and it doesn't really matter which of these two stitches, you can see we have crocheted them together, we are going to mark. So I have chained one, I'm gonna skip over that, and I'm gonna make a single crochet. But this chain one space, I am going to mark. This is where we are going to do the increasing for the next three rows. So our collar will be lying nicely uh, over, will be rolling over. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna keep doing the moss stitch until I get to the other side. Okay, so I am at the corner stitch again. You can see these are the four that I crochet together. And I got to do a single crochet here. I'm gonna chain one, skip over that stitch and make a single crochet. And I am going to mark this chain one space. These are the two back corners. And I'm gonna proceed with what we were doing with the moss stitch. So we should end right here before the corner. I'm gonna chain one and I get to end, you see this is my last stitch, with a single crochet. I have a chain one and a single crochet. Now don't worry too much if you have ended up with two single crochets at the end uh, instead of chain one and single crochet. So you will end up just like we did at the bottom. So every row you get to chain one, turn around, make a single crochet. So chain one, turn around, make a single crochet right here. If you have ended up with two single crochets here in the row at the bottom row, you get to chain one and look for the next hole. If you ended up like me with a chain one and single crochet, you start with single crochet and then a single crochet into that space. Chain one, skip. This is just, uh, you need to follow the stitches. Uh, every little chain space gets a single crochet. Okay, so I go to my stitch marker. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to make a single crochet where my stitch marker is. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to chain one and make a single crochet back into the same space. I'm going to mark this again. chain one and a single crochet in the next chain one space and I'm gonna keep going do exactly the same in in the other uh, where the stitch marker is okay chain one I have the stitch marker here I make a single crochet chain one I'm gonna single crochet back into the same space. I'm gonna mark this again. And now remember how the increasing uh, increases look like, uh, because we are gonna do this in the next 
uh, two more rows, so three all together. I'm gonna chain one after I did the increase, and I'm gonna follow the stitches. Looking for those chain one spaces. Okay, so <clears throat> I I got my second last stitch was a chain one space, so I'll get a single crochet, and I end up with single crochet. Two single crochets in a row. I'm gonna chain one, turn around, and I'm just gonna uh, show you quickly how to increase. So two single crochets in a row, I get single crochet, chain one, and look for that chain space. I hope that you understand uh, the starting and the ending of the moss stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna chain one again, my stitch marker. In that space, single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet back in there. And again, that chain one space, I'm going to mark because I'm gonna have to do one more increase. Chain one after that, and again, follow the stitches. Okay, so I think this is uh, quite understandable. So I'm gonna meet you after I'm finished with increasing, so in a row or one and a half row or something. And uh, we'll just quickly talk about the, how long to make the collar and all the rest. Other than that, we just need to keep going now. I am finished with the increasing, three increases in the row. So I am on row five at the moment. I don't need the stitch markers anymore. If you look closely, you see uh, where we did the increases, it, uh, you have a little uh, corners there. But within the next few rows, uh, they will not be, you will not be able to see them. I'm not doing any more uh, increases, just one single crochet in that space and I will follow the pattern. So from now on, we are uh, making the collar. Okay, so how long to make it? Um, I'm gonna make it about nine rows long uh, in total, but I have to have in mind that I want to stop making the collar at this moment, one row before uh, I want to be finished with it. I know it sounds very complicated, but so I will be crocheting. Um, it will start falling over, fo folding over like this uh, once we have more rows, and I will be. I will look. I don't know. Uh, so it looks nice, you know, just so that uh, it is lying on the cardigan without um, any problems. That it's not trying to stand up all the time. So. Once I am thinking, okay, so maybe one more row, I will stop. I will cut off my yarn because we, when we will do the buttonholes right here in the front, the very last row, we will be doing it on this side. We will go all the way around and that will add one extra row on that collar like this, just so the whole line looks perfect. Okay, so if I'm, let's say, planning now to do nine rows, I will stop at eight and leave the, the last row uh, for the edging, for the finishing, the perfect edge. Okay, so I'm going to see you when we are done with the collar. I have my eight rows finished. I am happy with that, uh, having in mind that I will do another row around. I can see it is lying down nicely. It is not trying to get up for me. Okay, so chain one and we will cut the yarn. Pull that out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to do this side under our right hand. Uh, we will, This is the side where I am going to have my buttons sewn to. Okay, Get yourself uh, four or so stitch markers and we need to mark something right here. Okay, so see the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the bead stitch rows, right? So counting from the top, 
uh, mark your second mark your fourth you get, get to skip one beat stitch row mark this one just that stitch uh, that very first um, stitch whatever you have in the front here and again skip one and I'm going to mark this and I want to do more if you are making bigger uh, size uh, so obviously you will have more rows so keep doing that uh, every second beat stitch row as I'm uh, skipping this one I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my stitch marker in one of the rows uh, from the moss stitch and this is what we are going to do right so each row you can see right here so this is the double crochet that we have from this row we're gonna put a uh, single crochet in top of it and one in the bottom then the next row again this is the bead stitch one in the top and one in the bottom so every row literally gets two single crochets except for those rows that we have marked right here so one I'm gonna get to that row with a stitch marker instead of doing two, uh, two stitches single crochets I'm just gonna do one somewhere in the middle as I can and exactly the same uh, moss stitch wherever you can uh, put your single crochets in there so get your hook get your yarn make a slip knot and we are gonna connect at the very very bottom very very bottom stitch right here pull it out and chain one turn around we will end up uh, making single crochets from the inside of the cardigan like this and see where you can put those stitches okay so single crochets right here right here so this is my marker I'm gonna skip that spot now th this all this skipping is for a reason it's just because if we are going to put a single crochet uh, in every space that it's supposed to get a single crochet this part will be too long it will stretch out and it will end up being longer than the back part so we need to do a little bit of skipping okay so I have double crochet right here I'm gonna put a single crochet at in the bottom of it and one in the top of it next is the bead stitch row so you can see a nice little hole here for the stitch and one at the top again double crochet one at the bottom and one in the top I got to my um, marker I'm gonna take that out and I'm just going to make I'm not gonna make two I just make one single crochet right here again double crochet one in the bottom one in the top one in the bottom one in the top bottom top and I have a stitch marker pull it out and I'm just gonna make one single crochet in that row and I will keep doing that until I get to the top of the cardigan I got myself to the very top and I have this stitch right here I'm gonna put a single crochet in it I'm gonna chain one now remember this is how our uh, rows are going to start while we are doing this side chain one turn around and a single crochet back into the same stitch and keep doing single crochets everywhere and it would be a good idea to count them so um, so we could uh, check that the other side will have the same amount of single crochets at the moment I am on row two um, all together we are going to have four rows of single crochets on both sides of the edging of the cardigan what I mean is I'm gonna have four rows on this side and four rows on this side but we are just like here we are going to stop on the after we finish row number three because after we, uh, when we make this side on when we finish row number four 
like this we're gonna finish it going up we are just gonna keep going we're gonna add the last row for the collar I'm gonna go all the way around and we're gonna add then the fourth row for this side and it's all going to be very nice and even and look very very neat okay so for now uh, keep going count your stitches uh, get to the last stitch chain one turn around single crochet and go up and I'm gonna meet you there okay um, finishing row number three my very last single crochet I'm gonna chain one and I am finished on row number three I'm gonna cut my yarn and pull out my hook uh, and I have um, I think I have 31 single crochets on this side so I'm just gonna match make sure that both sides match okay the other side we're gonna do exactly the same thing we are gonna mark uh, those uh, rows that we are going to make only one stitch the only difference is that on this side um, we are going to mark our double crochet rows so this is a double crochet row I'm gonna mark that that is going to have one single crochet I'm gonna skip one this one is gonna have one single crochet skip this one is gonna have one and then again I'm um, gonna skip that and right here somewhere I'm gonna skip a stitch so I had uh, four places where I skipped one single crochet on that side and I'm gonna have to do it again on this side um, for this um, for this side of the cardigan we are going to start on the top right here grab your yarn make a slip knot and uh, connect it at the top you should have a chain two, depending on which size you have chose uh, chosen for the cardigan so I have the chain two here and the top of that chain two I'm gonna pull it out I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna ma start making my single crochet so single crochet back in there mm -hmm. into the next one and then I have my double crochet they might look a little different than on the other side but make sure you put two I have my stitch marker I'm gonna put one in here double crochet just like we did on the other side so we're gonna keep going uh, try and count your stitches uh, this row looks the same as the other one until we get to row number three in row number three we are going to do the buttonholes so that is where I'm going to meet you after I'm finished with row one and two right finished row two now we're gonna mark out where our buttonholes are going to be okay so place your cardigan nice and neat now because I want to have these two parts opened like this I am going to see where that sort of a bend is and I'm gonna have a button right under it so I like it like this I'm gonna start a buttonhole right here I'm gonna have a buttonhole now if you don't want this part you can just work out where you want to put your buttons uh, in equal uh, you know you have to have the same amount of stitches in between so I want that here I want one at the very bottom so very very bottom as close to the bottom as I can get so I have um, one two three I'm gonna mark the third stitch from the bottom uh, I'm gonna skip and I will be skipping two stitches for the buttonhole so I'm just gonna have single crochet at the very very bottom uh, and then I'm gonna uh, turn it off uh, it, sometimes it takes a little time I don't want this video to be super long I'm gonna work out where my uh, third buttonhole is going to be now if you're making a bigger size you might want to put uh, four or even five I don't know uh, I'm just going to put one more 
Okay, so done with that. Uh, I'm happy where my buttonholes are going to be. I'm going to... It's a good idea to have a button just to make sure that it is going to fit through our buttonhole. So chain one and start single crochets until you get to your stitch marker. I'm going to do this quickly. I get to the stitch marker. The stitch before I stop. I'm going to make uh, two chains, chain one and chain two. I'm going to skip one, two stitches and make a single crochet into the third one. So this is my buttonhole. I make sure that my button uh, fits there beautifully. It's not um, too difficult or too easy going in. I like this. Uh, now, if your buttons are different sizes, you what you can do is, uh, sorry, what you can do is you can try a few different uh, things. You you might skip one stitch if you have smaller than mine, and make two single uh, two two chains and a single crochet into the next one. So you're gonna have a smaller hole. Uh, you might, if you have bigger uh, buttons, make free chains and skip free stitches or something like that. You just need to make sure uh, that it fits. There's nothing more annoying than a cardigan or a jacket that unbuttons easily. So next stitch marker again I'm gonna chain two, skip two into the next one and I'm gonna keep going. So I'll see you at the bottom of this row. Okay Chain one, turn around and look for your buttonhole. So I have two chains, but it doesn't matter. What matters is how many stitches you have skipped under. You might have skipped one but made two chains. You still uh, put the as many single crochets as you have skipped at the bottom. I skipped two. I put one and two single crochets in that chain two space. And I'm keep going with single crochets. So this is nothing uh, difficult. And again, a buttonhole. One, two, and I keep going. I'll see you at the top of this row. Now we're gonna keep going and add that very last touch. So. I have a single crochet in the top stitch. I'm gonna chain one and put a single crochet back into the same stitch. And now I am on the top of the cardigan. I will keep making single crochets right here. And then I have my leftover chains right here at the top. It's a little bit hard to see. Um, and I'm gonna use them. We're making my single crochets. Okay, so I got to the point where I'm very, very close. Excuse me. So right here, I'm very, very close to where my collar is starting. So I'm going to put a last, last single crochet right here, right under it. And then just single crochet on the side of the collar. You see where you can uh, place those stitches? Make sure it looks nice and neat. And then I have my first stitch from the top of the collar. I'm gonna make a single crochet like that, I'm gonna chain one, and now I am at, I'm gonna put another single crochet, and I am at the top of the collar. Now I'm going to see uh, where I am at. So I have a single crochet right here. Sorry, yes, single crochet right here, so I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna make a single crochet in the uh, space. Chain one, in the space as we did before we just need to work out uh, how to get to that very first chain one space and we keep going follow the pattern until we get to the other side of the collar then again at the other side uh, 
make sure that you don't skip anything anywhere uh, or whatever your pattern calls so I'm gonna make a single crochet at the corner I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna make a single crochet back and go <clears throat> excuse me uh, go down from the collar uh, on, over the side of it if you I don't know if I said that correctly okay so one more single crochet then again right here and I am down on the front part of the cardigan and I'm gonna do single crochets right here And I am at the side of where my buttons are going to be sewn. This is still uh, missing the fourth row. Again, look for the last stitch, put a single crochet in it, chain one and a single crochet back in it. So we make a nice and neat corner. And now I'm gonna just make one single crochet into each stitch and I will see you at the bottom. And so I am done. I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna cut my yarn, leave a little tail and pull that out. Now this is the time where I'm going to uh, hide my tail ends and sew in my buttons. Uh, it's quite important I think to sew the buttons in now uh, before we do the sleeves because we're gonna need uh, the cardigan to be very still. Uh, well, you'll see it uh, for the sleeves, okay? So this is how it looks like at the moment as you can see right like this okay I'll quickly show you a few uh, tail ends how I hide them if you are a very beginner you might not know get yourself a big, big needle and right here go into the very very middle of that stitch next to it and do this Make sure it no looks nice, that corner. And then I'm just gonna go up and down in between the stitches. I'm not gonna go all the way through the cardigan, just in and out between, like this. And I'm done with that. Then find the next tail. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna find the closest uh, place where, <clears throat> excuse me, I can go in between the, the stitches. So that will would be right here for me. And I will just do that. Up and down. You can do it uh, more times, but I um, it never really comes out for me. So I'm happy to go one way and the other way okay so that is how we hide hide the tails um i had a request in the comments uh, to show you how i sew in my buttons so this is what i'm going to do i normally do it with a much smaller needle it's just as i'm making a video it will be very hard to see uh, because my lovely needle is about that size so i picked uh one that you can see okay so uh, I'm gonna take my stitch markers out. We need to make sure that we match both sides perfectly. Like this. Okay. And then again, uh, as we have a, a good bit of edging, you can decide if you want to sew um, the button a little bit further away, a little bit closer if you feel that it is a little bit um, perhaps on the smaller side like for the chest measurement or anything or you can do it in the middle uh, I think I'm on spot so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna sew it in in the middle of it so match it up like this find where that buttonhole is okay so for me it is right here, my top buttonhole. I always start with the top one. I'm just gonna put my needle 
smack in the middle of it. I'm gonna pull that off and now I know where I need need to go. Okay. So right here I'm gonna come out from the inside of the cardigan, come out in the same space, go in. Uh, my needles have it's a two hole needle and in a little bit th further on okay so now I look at in the other side I have a little knot at the end of the thread so I'm gonna go in between the two uh, threads here put my needle right in there and I'm gonna pull all that out so that uh, that knot is going to hold it in place okay so now I'm gonna go and look for the hole again come out and in the other side and I do this at least three times I want to go three times in and out okay so at least three times in and out I normally do it free so it looks like this and then at the end I just make a little knot I go in under the the same thread like this come out and I keep that loop go in there Ooh, I missed one thread okay so through the loop one time and the same way through the same loop again for the second time and now I'm gonna pull and make a knot beautifully right there nice and secure and I'm just gonna go in and back a little bit so I don't have to cut my yarn very close to that knot sorry not yarn thread and I'm gonna cut it off and I have a button so this is what I do okay so I'm gonna meet you um, in a little bit it will take me a while because I want to have one uh, sleeve a little bit ready so I could show you something and um, but I will have all this finished okay see you soon okay so we have left is sleeves I have one made now first uh, thing we need to have a look is the sleeve length for the age that you are making I have 17.5 centimeters uh, the bigger the size the longer the sleeves and the upper sleeve upper sleeve is just to make sure that we need to do those um, two increases in the first row so I have about 9.5 uh, centimeters okay so I have one made uh, now all I'm missing is the very end of the sleeve which is going to be this stitch only five rows I have four rows made here and if I measure those four rows they measure at about two and a half centimeters uh, as I'm going to make five I have in mind that there will be an extra row so I will be at about three centimeters um, for here so I take my 17.5 centimeters for the total length minus the three that are still missing and I know how much I have to make and when to stop so as you can see I have we measure from the bottom and my um, sleeve measures is about 14 and a half to 15 centimeters depending if I pull in it or not and I have decided to do the bead stitch for the last row uh, this is up to you if you want to on uh, some cardigans cardigans I do that on some I do not uh, I'm doing it on this one because it's a video uh, in case you want it if you don't just do uh, double crochets and stop about um, three centimeters or so uh, before the full length okay so the other thing is uh, the upper sleeve so we are going to measure uh, this part from here to here so on the inside my sleeve measures about ten and a half 
centimeters it's hard to see but it's about ten and a half so uh, for me nine and a half is good so I have about one centimeter which is perfect uh, too much that means I'm going to do two decreases in the very first row um, I'm trying to think if I forgot something I think I did not so okay starting with the sleep first of all the first thing that we need to figure out is which way we are going now look at the very last row that you have right here so I have my double crochets facing the right way up you can see this is how the stitch looks the right way up and this is how double crochets look uh, when they are uh, the wrong way up or the <laughs> I don't know how to say it the other way okay so it's much more straight when they're right way up. I have the last row uh, that way. And they're a bit more sort of a curly. So that means that you are the wrong side up. So if you're like me, we're going to start at the bottom and crochet the first row from the sort of a inside of the sleeve. If you are not finished on the same row as me, you are going to start at the bottom and go around from the outside of the sleeve. Uh, everything else is exactly the same, it's just whichever way you are going because we are going to be turning uh, to make the sleeve anyways. Okay, so I'm going to make my slip knot and I'm going to find that middle chain that I have here because I made uh, three chains, I have the middle. This is the very middle chain for me right here. And I have one chain on this side and one chain on, on this side. So my decreasing will be, I will de uh, crochet together this and the bottom of that double crochet right here together. This is going to be my decrease on one side and exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to connect and we're going to chain two. That chain two does not count as a stitch, it's just there to fill in the little gap. So. If you need to go that way, you don't turn, but I'm going from the inside of the cardigan. Uh, after we make the chain two, we make a double crochet back into the same chain space right here. This is what we count. We count that one double crochet. Then I have one chain left right here before that double crochet. I'm going to go in there, catch the yarn, pull, pull it out. I have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to crochet it together with the next stitch. This is the double crochet that I joined with. I go into the bottom of it, catch the yarn, pull it out, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all of them. And count your stitches. So I have one, those two that I crochet together, I count as one as well, so one, two. Number three for me is the top of that double crochet. So three. Then number four is this was the corner. Four. And then I have the normal stitches. So five, six, seven. And I'm going to keep going and I will count until I get to this part on the other side. Okay, so I got to this corner and I have 29 stitches, 29 double crochets made. I had, I know I had 32 on the other side, so this is what I'm, um, I need to check uh, to make sure that both of them are the same. So 29, I got my 30th in the middle here. 31 then goes into the top of that double crochet. And my number 32 is going to be a decrease again. I'm going to crochet two together. So the bottom of that double crochet, I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry. So the bottom of that double crochet and that one more chain that I have here. If you had more chains than me, just make sure that you crochet together the closest one to that double crochet and the bottom of the double crochet. That way um, the sleeve will look nicer. Okay, so I have the same amount of stitches on both sleeves and now I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect into the very first stitch right here. So 
So this is the chain two. We don't uh, crochet into them. They are just filling up the gap. The first stitch and a slip stitch. Chain two, whichever way you're going, you're gonna turn. I'm gonna make a double crochet back into that stitch right next to the chain two. And I'm just gonna follow the stitches. Uh, so I should always have the same amount of stitches from now on. If it's easier, you can count it, um, count in every row. Um, okay, I was going to see something and I just forgot. Oh yes, about the number of stitches. Now, if you are planning to do the um, bead stitch row at the end of the sleeve, at the bottom of the sleeve, just, just before the cuff, um, you need to have uh, a, an even amount of stitches. So I have 32, I do not need to decrease anymore. Uh, I, I am going to be fine. Now, if you have an odd number and you want that, you're gonna have to do one more decrease, just like we did at the bottom of the sleeve here in the first row, crochet two together, perhaps a little bit further, um, Make, an, make another few rows and then do that uh, decrease. Just as long as all the decreases are not at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you at the bottom of the sleeve. I have one more stitch left uh, in this row. So this is the stitch. It, if you look from up, it looks like two stitches right here. But this stitch, if you look really carefully, the chain two is connected to it. So that is already taken. We do not crochet into that. It will always be at the very back of our row. If you find it hard, uh, hard and you cannot um, understand or see, just count your stitches every time. And once you make your whichever number you have, for me it's number 32, I am going to connect straight away to the very, very first top stitch like that and chain two and turn again double crochet back into the same stitch in front of the uh, of the two chains and keep going with double crochets so this is quite simple uh, so we keep going and I will meet you at the very very well at the bottom and I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, bead row if you want to do that as well. So for now on, you just need to, uh, to figure out how long to make it. Uh, you can do a little bit of counting yourself. You just need to leave a little bit of space at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna see you when I have this part done. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do the beads. You have to make sure that you still have enough space right here to do the beads uh, so you wouldn't get your sleeve too long or actually too short. You just need to work it out. Do a little bit of measuring. Okay, so the beads. We're gonna chain two. One, two. I'm gonna make a double crochet right into this stitch. So we're gonna skip that stitch right under chain two. I'm gonna go into the next one and make a double crochet. And around that double crochet we make our first bead. And then again skip one, make a double crochet. Everything as we have already done before, the same beads. It's just we need, uh, I want to show you where where we start and where we finish. Okay, so keep doing that. I'll see you at the end of this row. And you should have your last bead going right here. You see? Before the chain two. Like this. And now we are going to connect. We're going to completely skip those uh, this chain two. We're going to go right into that very first stitch on the top of the bead. And we are going to connect our sleeve like that. 
we're gonna chain one and we're going to cut our yarn pull that out okay so now we're gonna get our stitch markers we need four and I like to do uh, both cuffs at the same time okay so if you need to measure uh, do the measuring I know that I have the length needed okay so place your cardigan or jacket very very flat like this flatten out make sure that the buttons and everything are in the middle of the cardigan so pick up the sleeve the, the top part try not to move it too much like this and find three very top stitches so this is the very the, the one that is very very much on the top one before and one after that so we are going to mark one at the bottom of those three so one two three top ones I'm marking the bottom one from one and from the other side we just want three stitches at the very top of that sleeve to be unmarked because we're gonna skip them and exactly the same with the other sleeve pick it up carefully and again it be hard to see so like this one two and three oops one two three stitches right here I mark the stitch before and this one more stitch after that like that and so okay so this is one of the harder parts it's personally it is harder for me because we are we will need to make buttonholes in the moss stitch but I will try to do my best and explain it as well as I can okay so what we're gonna do um, the cuffs are exactly the same or the, the bottom part are both exactly the same the only thing they will be starting from different sides so this sleeve under my right hand we are going to start from the top right here from the top uh, marker the one that is on the top the other sleeve uh, sleeve again I'm sorry I'm gonna start with the top marker but we will be going on the outside of the sleeve here and the, here we will be going on the inside of the sleeve you will not be able to see the difference uh, but we just need that uh, overlapping part to go backwards so from here to there and the other sleeve is from here to there uh, just so you know make a slip knot find your sleeve and we're gonna make six chains so one two three four five and six if you if at any point you feel that this is too short uh, perhaps later on you will see uh, when you're trying it is too short you can do eight or ten or whatever you feel like doing it just has to be um, an even number okay so I have six chains so that marker that is marked I'm gonna go into that stitch but only from the inside of the sleeve so this is the inside and I'm gonna make a single crochet in there single crochet and chain one skip a stitch single crochet chain one skip a stitch single chain skip single chain skip so we have done this before okay so we need to keep going and I'll meet you right here now you see the knot right here so we need to be careful here we are going to uh, understand that the stitch before you can see a little here uh, a little here and a little here we count that as one stitch together so you can uh, if you skip you skip both of them if you make a, a single crochet uh, you make w whichever side you want but you count this as one stitch so I have chain one I'm skipping this stitch I make a single crochet right here before the uh, knot I'm gonna chain one and then again I'm not counting this as a stitch I'm skipping this 
and make a single crochet. Chain one, single, chain one. I hope that you, uh, you're able to see this. And we keep going until we reach our other marker. Chain one, skip one and make your uh, last single crochet. You should be ending up in a stitch marker. That is if you did exactly as I have showed. Now, if it's not matching up for you, don't worry. Just skip that stitch and go into the next one after the marked one. But you just need to remember that you're gonna have to do um, to do exactly the same on the other sleeve. You're just gonna have a, a smaller gap right right here. But I want three stitches for a gap. Okay, row number two. We're gonna chain one, turn around. Okay, so make a single crochet back in there. I have a chain space, so I make a single crochet in it. Chain one, skip a stitch, find the next chain space. But I suppose you, you should already know that because we have made quite a few um, edges with that already. Okay, so we are going to have um, five rows of this. This, I am on row two. And when I get to the, to the end of this row, we are going to do a buttonhole. Okay, so I am just before the chain, I'm gonna chain one and I get to skip this very first single crochet. So I make a single crochet in the first of my six chains. I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna skip a chain, make a single crochet, chain one, I'm gonna skip a chain, make a single crochet and I'm gonna make another single crochet so I have two single crochets in the row for the ending so I have two just because just so that corner would not be um, would have a little bit more um, I don't know firmness so I, I want to have two single crochets right here okay we're gonna chain one I'm gonna turn around and this is this is the hard part okay I'm gonna try to do it as clear as I can so we make a single crochet back into that very first stitch right here. Now I'm going to chain two. This is my buttonhole. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip two stitches. Now I end up skipping a single crochet and a chain space. And I am going to do a single crochet in the single crochet right here. So I'm going to have single crochet like this. Then I look what's my next stitch and I have a chain space. So I put in another double, sorry, single crochet. So single crochet, chain two, single, single. Chain one, skip one, and then we continue with our pattern. So this is a little bit harder. It's uh, because this, it's easier to skip three, but I really need to skip two. For this one otherwise my buttonhole will be too big this is just the way uh, I have to do it okay so we're gonna get to the end of this row now just keep looking at those stitches at the end of the row three I end up making a um, chain one skipping a stitch and a single crochet in the last one chain one single crochet in the first one I have a hole here that means I put another single crochet in there chain one and I keep going so now we are going to uh, to do the moss stitch over the buttonhole and then yet again you're gonna have to have a good look if you're not very familiar with this uh, stitch it might just be a little bit hard for you Okay, 
so I'm getting close I have here okay so now what we have right here are two single crochets in a row it looks a little bit confusing but we chain one we skip this first one and make a single crochet in the second one we're gonna chain one we're gonna skip one chain and make a single crochet into the next one and again we have one more stitch left at the very back we just make a single crochet I'm gonna chain one and this is my last row uh, I am just going to follow the stitches you could end on four rows if you like but I, I feel like I want five I want it to be a little bit um, a little bit bigger so follow the stitches to the end of this row and I am finishing this up I have chained one and I'm gonna put the last single crochet I'm gonna chain one cut my yarn and pull that out so as I said both of those parts will be made exactly the same so as you can see here are the buttonhole we're gonna I'm gonna sew in the button right here and it's gonna close and look how nice that looks that looks beautiful okay so the right one is done under our right hand side now we're gonna do the left one so I'm not gonna do it all over again because everything is exactly the same the only thing is that we are starting on the outside of this sleeve so again the first slip uh, sorry uh, marker the one that is in the on the top of the sleeve let's see that is on the bottom that is on the top we're gonna start there make a six chains one two three four five and six find that marker and make a single crochet in that stitch chain one single crochet chain skip you know the drill and okay so I'm gonna meet you at the end of this row so you should know by now uh, how to do this I just want uh, to make sure actually I'm gonna just crochet it it's fine okay so again remember this is one stitch you either skip it together or you just make one stitch in it so I end up skipping this and make a single crochet in that I'm gonna chain one I'm gonna skip a stitch and I'm gonna keep going chain one okay and this is my other marker so I get to skip one and make single crochet where the marker is chain one and everything is exactly the same as I said we go back make the buttonhole um, uh, I don't want to do this the second time uh, just there's no reason for that so keep going uh, do this make sure that you end up exactly the same as on the other sleeve and I'm gonna finish this up so in my buttons hide my tails and uh, I will show you what how the full cardigan looks like when it's finished okay so I am finished this is how everything looks like I love the sleeves there it's all done ready to be worn uh, I hope you liked it I like this cardigan a lot and I will wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.